Welcome to Plava.com, the podcast. Discover your sexual journey with Nink and Aiman. Do you remember the hype of Fifty Shades of Grey? Naomi does. While she was reading the book, everything fell into place. But at the same time, she startled. Up until then, she didn't have a memorable sex life. She was okay, but she couldn't really give in to it. And to be quite honest, she never understood why everyone made such a big deal about it. Until she read the book, and she was captivated by a man who would tell her what was going to happen in bed, instead of asking her. And although she always advocated for bed partners who were very respectful and aware of boundaries, she noticed that she needed more than that. These bed partners allowed her to stay in her own mind. They let her think about her own needs, the things she would like, but also the things that she wouldn't like. And from these thoughts, she would often end up with the issue, what am I doing here, in bed, with this man? And then she would pull out, most often literally by leaving them in the midst of the night. When she read about a man who wouldn't give her the space to think, but who would take the initiative himself, and who would be dominant, she was surrendered to her own body and arousal. She couldn't do anything else but feel. There was no more room for her own doubts and thoughts. She needed to be dominated by a man. She needed that, within the boundaries of her wanting, he would tell her what was about to happen, instead of asking her. And so she did. After she read that book, she would only share her bed with men who promised her to take all the initiative. Who promised her to love her body so intensely that her mind wouldn't have a chance to think about anything. And from that moment on, she realized how sex could be like. Intense, without any thoughts, with a lot of arousal and no restrictions. She now knew what it is she needs to long for sex. And by knowing so, she discovered a new part of her sexuality. <laughs>